So this is the inside of a Growatt 12,000T, okay? It's a 12 kVA transformer, looks like, all right? I mean, if you look at the size of my fist over there, this thing's massive, okay? Look at the size of these windings on this little sucker over here. And um, so this thing's, you know, this transformer, I'm, I'm quite impressed with. I must admit, I'm running it in my own home. Uh, it's also an auto transformer. This is our um, MPPT board at the back over here for our solar panels to connect to. This is our main power board. Control board, mm -hmm. it goes that way up with all the relays on to do the bypassing, uh, etc. It also got those little CTs on there to measure how many amps are coming through from the AC side of things. And um, so that's the board that you flash when you do flash, uh, if you do flash the firmware on these guys. And if the firmware fails, we normally swap out, swap out these boards and uh, switch them out and flash them over here. But uh, yeah, that's just a quick insight into what's inside this guy. This is what it looks like inside the GrowWatt 6000T. All right, that's a six kilowatt uh, auto transformer. And um, so it's quite a bit different the size wise. You see the size of my fist over there against there. Um, and this one weighs 105 pounds, this inverter. The biggest complaints we have with these 12,000 Ts and the 6,000 Ts is customers taking off both screws, loosening the screw there and the screw there, shoving a wire through. And then what happens is that pushes the wire out the inside because the inside wires to this uh, GrowWatt unit are connected via that screw. So simply just push, taking wire, shoving it through, you push the wire out the inside of the inverter, that's why it's not going to work. I have, have that often with guys saying my solar doesn't register input and uh, or my output doesn't register. That's the reason why. Only loosen the bottom screws and leave the top screws.